It's Mark here from Expedition Kayaks in uh, in Sydney. I'm in our, uh, our lovely Miranda store here, as you can see. Um, and today I'm going to do a short video showing you the camera mount accessories we've been using recently to uh, to record some of our adventures and, and get some pretty good perspectives on the ocean and, and how it looks out there. So this this here is the port that uh, that the uh, the camera attaches to on your on your deck. It's called a quick port, a Railblazer quick port. It comes in the box with this adhesive uh, 3M um, patch, and all you need to do is line that up like so. Cut around a nice little circle. Stick one side to this. Prep your deck with a little alcoholic swab after you've maybe given it a little bit of a scuff to, to make it key in. I know that can be a tough thing for some people with surf skis, but it helps for the, uh, the camera to stay mounted. And then stick the, the port onto the deck, wait 24 hours for it to cure properly, and you've got yourself a nice, uh, a nice set fixing position. It's a very simple uh, method for uh, fixing the camera into the mount. You simply unlock by pressing that little button a little star shaped fixture there unhooks it and uh, allows you to remove it nice and simply to pop it back in you just line everything up again click it into place and then push it back in bang and that ain't going anywhere it's a really clever really effective system Once your rip port's in, um, there's a three-piece pole set, uh, the extender pole it's called, and you can set that with two poles or three poles like I have here um, into the rip port. There's a separate connection piece there if you want a nice simple fixture to enable you to click that into the railblazer mount with your GoPro mounted. Or alternatively, if you want to be able to maneuver around, get a different angle on things, there's a, another adapter kit which is that one there. Um, which gives you a bit more scope for changing angles and, and, and getting a bit funky. Um, you don't have to have all three poles on, as I said. Um, if you have it set at two poles, it's about head high, and that's a pretty good angle, um, especially if you're gonna run it off, off the, uh, the bow of the boat. Um, but what I find is that up here, um, you're getting the view that you're getting when you're on the water. Um, and, and it's remarkable how often people get out on a good day, take some video footage, get back and think, oh, it doesn't look like what it looked like, bugger. Whereas from up here, it does, it really does. Um, it doesn't have that awful flattening effect where you, you get home and get a bit deflated because you've gone and told everyone you're out in a massive day and it looks like you're having to paddle on Lake Taupo. Um, so, it, it, there's a little bit of play in the, uh, in the mast. Um, which obviously is a good thing because you don't want it tearing a hole in your deck or, or pulling the mount out. The stabilization software nowadays in cameras like GoPros is so good that, that it's sort of, it, it, you don't notice it in the camera. And stability wise, you'd be surprised. It doesn't make that much of a difference. It, it, some, I, I've also got one of these mounted on a V12 and I have a little joke with everyone. I put the boat on the water and let it go and it goes bang and flops into the water. Um, but when you get on the ski and paddle, uh, you very quickly adapt. It, it, it's not insanely unstable, unlike some of the mounts that we've uh, made for ourselves in the past, which really, really were. You could really only paddle them on a flat day if you wanted to, to have an anxiety-free paddle. Um, as their durability, um, there's some video of me getting trashed on the bar at Bundina, having the ski get knocked over and then pretty much get window shaded a couple of times. The camera hits the sand on the bottom on the back end of this pole and instead of it just all going splatter and me losing my, my gear, uh, I ended up with some really cool footage of the ski speeding away from me in the water and, uh, and there's me madly swimming after it. So that was a pretty good test. Um, we think it's, it's more likely than most to survive uh, what you throw at it. Um, the, the, adhe the adhesive uh, mount down here that I showed you earlier, uh, it's, it's really good. Um, 
you know, you, you think salt water and, and exposure would probably do it in after a while. But we tried to take one off an Audax the other day, and it took took a bit of time. We had to we had to take it off carefully and then remove all of the adhesive um, residual matter. So, so once it's on, it's on, um, which is what you want, obviously, with your your six or seven hundred dollar GoPro stuck on the top. Um, these are all separate pieces. The rib port, the extender pole, the uh, the, the uh, adjustable mount, or just this little simple camera mount on the top here. But for sort of a hundred bucks thereabouts, you're going to get yourself a extremely versatile camera mount that will hopefully allow you to uh, to record your adventures and and. Uh, and give people a, a little clue about what we uh, get up to and what it looks like when we're out there, which is, uh, I reckon, is pretty cool. They're all on our website. If you have any questions or queries, either drop a line through our YouTube channel or you can get me at, uh, at mark at expeditionkayaks.com. Thanks for watching.